Okay, I am going to try to show you how to paint this painting on a rock. Um, excuse any background noise. I have children and pets. Um, but this is what you're going to need to begin with. You're going to need a rock and you're going to need your color palette. You're going to need pretty much every color. Purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, black, and white. We will be mixing colors. That's why I use these disposable plates. They work perfectly. So what you're going to do is you're going to paint this rock. You're going to do half of it is going to be black. Half of it is going to be white. I'm going to pause and I'm going to restart it after I do that. Once you paint that, let it dry. Okay, so when you paint these, the black and the white, you will have a little bit of gray area and you want that. So let this dry and when it's dry, we'll continue. Okay, so mine's basically dry. It's not completely dry, um, but it's basically dry. So we're going to start. We're going to start with our top layer, which is the purple layer. This is just purple paint. Okay, after every one, you're going to not rinse your brush immediately. You're going to take some of the other one because you want the two colors to blend. So we'll take the blue next, blend it a little bit. Blend it some more. Then we're going to make our brush clean. Take our blue and then go down a little further in the darker blue. You don't have to go complete to each edge because you want that, that black edge kind of look going on. Um, then from blue, we're going to a green. And we're going to bleed it a little bit, which is blending. And then we're going to go all the way down to a certain point, and then that's the green. Now we're going to wash your brush again. And uh, to be patient with me, this is my first time recording a video um, to teach with, and I haven't done this yet, so do be patient with me, please, because uh, this is all new to me. Okay, we're going to blend, and then go down. Now... We went from yellow, we're going to go to orange, blend, go down. Now we're moving to the red, and go down. And then the red, we're going to go all the way to the bottom with. That's where our reflections come in. Okay, so once your rock gets to this stage, we are going to let it dry. We have to be patient when you're painting. So let this dry, and we'll go to our next step. Okay, after that, we're going to switch brushes to a smaller brush. You notice that the other one that I was using was a little bit bigger. Well, now you just need to move to a, a little bit of a smaller one. And here is where some fun starts happening. We're going to take each one of our colors we did and we're going to add a little white to it to make it a little bit lighter. So each one, we're going to put a little white to make a little bit lighter. All right. And then we're going to come um, into the middle zone and we're just going to barely put the brush down. Barely, barely, barely. 
Okay, and then we're going to go over to the blue next. We're going to take the blue. And we're going to barely, 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 barely. Okay, and then wipe her brush off. Same with the green. Take the green and the white, make a little bit lighter color. And then the yellow. And orange. Bring it down. Then the red. The red, we, we want it to be like a really, really pretty pink color. Not like, about this color. And then this goes all the way down. Okay, that is that part. Now, we move to a fun spot. We're going to take our big fat brush that we did. We are going to clean it off good. We're going to take it into our white. This is where it gets fun and messy. We're going to take that brush. We're going to take our finger. And we're going to sparkle stars. Look how they shine. Sparkling stars. Do as many or as few as you would like. From there, you need to let it dry. I know we need to continue to let it dry a lot in this video, but the drying part, um, just make sure that the paint doesn't mix too bad with each color. Um, so we're going to let it dry, and I'll be back as soon as it gets dry. Okay, I am back. Now the paint is dry. We are going to start adding our trees. Um, with the canvas, I have what they call a fan brush, but because this is a rock and it's so small, I don't have a fan brush for it, so we're just going to use a regular brush. We're going to take our smaller line brush, and we're going to draw some lines pretty much all the way down, but we're going to go to just when the red gets there and I'm only gonna do like three trees just because it's a rock and this one is skinny so if you have a bigger rock it you could do more trees but um, my rock is kind of really skinny so I'm just gonna do three little trees Okay, now, this is fun, it's fun, fun, fun. You are going to dab your rock, making it look like bristles coming. And I don't know a technical term, but you're going to take that rock and you're going to make it look like there are cedar trees just by tapping your brush down. With a fan brush, it's got longer bristles and it's a little bit easier to do with a fan brush. But like I said, this is a painted rock and it doesn't have to be perfect. Well, this is just to show you um, how to, to do it. Like I said, um, life isn't always perfect and we are not all talented um artists or professional artists i myself am not a professional i just love to paint so taking the brush and we're gonna add little bristles here and there adding the bristles here and there okay now let's go get this tree it's little bristles 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 okay yeah, I know, I'm silly. Okay. 
And then we're just going to pull some lines through with just our brush to make it look like a little fuller. And then we're going to go straight across doing this. Here comes some more fun. We're going to take that brush and we're going to go just like this because these are the tree reflections in the water. And we got to have the tree reflection. We want these trees to look full, so we're going to go back up here and fill some more of that in. On the bottom of the trees, we want them to not have as much color showing through because that's what makes the painting look the best. It just looks better that way. All right. Now, we're going to go grab um, or wash a brush, wash your brush off. And then we're going right up here. And we're going to grab a little bit of yellow. And then we're going to add in a little bit of the sun. It doesn't have to be just right. And it's not the exact same, just like, because not every one of my art pieces are going to be exact. Okay. I just wiped the brush off the best I could because we're going to go right up here to this white. And this is something that Bob Ross taught me through videos that I learned through him. Um, and we're going to add in our water line. Take it straight across. You want it to be thin, like the thin line. And then you take it down a little, put the little white, take it down just a little, and then back across. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to take some more of the white with a little bit of the orange and um, add some more orange to my background up here. So I like it to pop. I want it to really pop out. Okay, this is what we have so far. So far, so good. You can um, either add some more stars or little clouds um, or just leave it like it is. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Or you can even add you a little moon if you wanted a moon. But I think it's beautiful the way that it is. So thank you for watching this. And... Um, if you like to have more videos, let me know in the comments. Thank you.